Hi, this is Mike again. Today, I wanted to talk to you about what the data says about abortion. In order to better understand the abortion argument, we should understand the data behind the argument. Certainly, we oppose abortion in almost any form as it takes the life of the unborn. The advocates for abortion constantly say that women have the right to control their own bodies. Unfortunately, this argument does not consider the life of the unborn in the womb. With our technology today, it is easier to make the argument that life begins at inception. If this is true, why can people kill the baby in the womb but not kill the baby when it is out of the womb? Those arguing for abortion rights now even say that we should have abortions even after birth. This clearly is murder. If we approve abortion with no restriction, we are advocating it is okay to murder babies who are born. This goes against all moral values of our society. I can't imagine our society is at a point where this is okay but maybe it is. The question we all need to answer is does a baby in the womb has any rights? If it is okay to murder a baby out of the womb, why don't parents have the right to kill their kids since we argue these are our kids? This moral right that the left is pushing has severe consequences for all of us. Taken to the ultimate extreme we can argue that everyone has the right to murder other people. Is this really what we want as a society? In order to prevent these moral extremes, we need to argue for abortion restrictions. If I had my way, there would be no abortions. Abortions are normally the consequence of breaking one of God's laws, sex outside of marriage. However, with the current state of our society, it will be hard to restrict 100% of the abortions. It is better to win some restrictions than get none. Today, we have conservatives arguing that we should have none and the left arguing that there should be no restrictions. Based upon recent election results, 2020, and 2023, I believe the left is winning the argument. Why is this? I believe conservatives need to put forth a proposal that is reasonable, that demonstrates that women do have some rights, and at the same time provides an explanation that shows how insane the left's argument is for no restrictions on abortion. The left argues that it is the right that is intolerant and that if they are elected, there will be no abortions allowed. The proposal that restrictions should be limited to up to 15 weeks seems like a good place to start. After that time, if a woman does not want the baby, they can put it up for adoption. There are many couples who are looking to adopt kids and are having a difficult time trying to find them. Many spend up to $50,000 to get a baby from China, Latin America, or another country. It is no wonder that the people willing to adopt have fallen. The right needs to champion a way to make adoptions less costly and more desirable. Obviously, if the right was winning this argument, they would be able to show some results. To date, since Roe v. Wade was voted down by the Supreme Court, conservatives have not been able to show they are winning the argument. In order to prevent another national law that approves abortion as a national right, it would be better to get some abortion rights passed in the states where it is an election issue. It is somewhat puzzling that Democrats have not pushed for this in the states that they control. They could pass this state law and give its residents abortion rights, and this would eliminate abortion as a national issue. Perhaps, the reason that they are not getting abortion passed as an issue in the states they control is that they want to keep this issue as a national issue to continue to win elections. Certainly, based on the recent performance of the Biden administration, Democrats don't offer many reasons to vote Democratic for independent voters. It is clear that many people are one-issue voters. The issue of abortion helped win elections for Democrats in Ohio, Virginia, and Kentucky in November 2023. It is time for Republicans and conservatives to take this issue away before the 2024 national election or they stand to lose another election just like we did in 2020. I believe that conservatives need to develop a two-pronged approach to minimize this issue on the national scene. First, they need to develop an agreed-upon compromise abortion platform that would approve abortion up until a specific number of weeks. Secondly, they need to make sure help is available for all women who decide after that time that they don't want their children. Certainly, churches can be a big supporter of infant adoption and keep records of parents who are looking to adopt infants. Third, Republicans should go on a national education campaign using ultrasound videos to show infants in the womb. These images would go a long way to show that these so-called fetuses are really little kids. Eventually, they should propose extending rights to these infants, saying they have rights just like any other person in our society. I hope this perspective on abortion will help conservatives come face to face with a compromise that will help them be successful in the 2024 election. If they lose, they, most likely, will not win another election and our society will be doomed to spiral downhill. Certainly, we all can be praying for God to intervene and prevent babies from being aborted. If you watch one of our other videos on abortion data, you will see that the number of abortions had been falling before the Roe v. Wade decision was thrown out.
How much the recent Roe v. Wade decision has impacted the number of abortions is unclear. However, what is clear is that it has energized the left and independents such that conservatives are no longer winning elections where all the other issues are in their favor. We are calling on Christians and conservatives to find a solution that helps us get a reduction in abortions while at the same time, giving conservatives victory on so many other issues that are impacting our society. Thanks for watching this important video on an important issue to God and our society. You can watch other videos on our website nehemiahreset.org or on our rumble.com channel. We hope to see you again on another video in the near future. Have a great day!